So we've redone all the seals on the Vanos, redid the bearing. We should have shown the shaft play, but take it from us. There was no shaft play. We're gonna put all those back, just redo everything. We're not here for tutorials. Do everything backwards, man. Do everything, put this video in reverse. following day hey man hey welcome back hey to man welcome hey man thank you so much welcome back to uh where's this thingy at it's a vlog welcome back to oh <laughs> welcome back welcome back to <laughs> dude are you fucking <laughs> i was looking through the camera oh, oh wow <laughs> i was looking through the camera lens this and guy, I... dude. oh this guy right <sighs> okay <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. That's... I'll get it. I'll get it. <laughs> All right, so we're back with more broken pieces of shit because that's what BMWs are. Uh, yeah, boy. I mean, I could, I could drive. It runs. We just don't have VTEC right now. Let's, let's cut right into it, man. How about that? <clears throat> let's do that. Let's do that. We got to redo his Vanos. So I did a whole video on how to uh, redo a Vanos and all the seals and, and all that. And I got a nice radiator. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I did a mission, mission motor mode with aftermarket uh, mounts. Dang, dude. Pretty sick, dude. Yeah. Go to diffauto.com <laughs> forward slash <laughs> shop now. Like... <laughs> shop now for the custom mount. Okay. No, okay, no, anyways, but bro. We did the Vanos and uh, we timed it wrong. We just didn't time it at all. We just like shoved it in there. You're probably wondering, what does doing Vanos mean? So Vanos is variable timing on BMWs, and uh, they have a VTEC. Uh, oil seal on a piston VTEC. to engage it, and VTEC. that goes out. So we redid the seal, and we redid the bearings because it had a bunch of play. VTEC. Actually, cut to the play. It's not supposed to move. It's not supposed to <laughs> do that. Now my Vanos is better, but we timed it wrong, so yeah. we have to... Redo everything. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, do I have to set it to time-lapse? Are you time-lapsing? How do I know if it's time lapsing? Once you pull the valve cover off, you gotta take out the clutch fan. Now the clutch fan requires a special tool. I wanna show them real quick before you settle. It's special because it's a tool, just like you. <laughs> <laughs> um, the bolts, they're not seated in a perfect square. They're actually like- It's a rectangular. Rect yeah, it's rectangular, so that's why that's so wide. So as you hold that, there's gonna be another wrench on that front nut. So as, yeah, he's, so as he's countering the tension, you bolt that thing off and then boom, the fan comes off. So if I remember correctly, the clutch fan is backwards threaded, so that It's means... called a reverse thread. Well, <coughs> essentially the same shit. <laughs> so righty tighty, right? So I'm going towards you. Yeah. There it is. Ow! Oh. Something blew in my face. Oh my God. Right now, George is going to crank the engine with a 22 millimeter, and we are going to get it to top dead center. There's a couple ways to tell. There's some splines down here on other M52s, or you wait till these get to you past it. 45 degrees angles of each other, and those should be flat in the back. There's plenty of videos to show you how exactly to get your motor to top dead center. So right down, I'm on driver's side, manifold, straight down there where Don's poking his finger at. There's like a little little blue plug that little plug you need to pull that out and when you pull that out you're gonna stick this plug through because he just removed this he just removed the plastic thing and this is gonna go in its place and it's gonna go through the flywheel and it's gonna lock the car the flywheel will have a hole for this yeah the flywheel has one hole and it'll lock the car in top dead center and that's that way nothing shifts and nothing moves so rotating right yep so right there flexing but now no matter what i go left or right the motor is now locked all right so we are aligning our cam lock tools let me get out of the way see that 
They're just held on with some Allens right there. And we actually had to adjust the cam a little bit. So this is a 24 millimeter right here. And we just had to adjust it so it would sit perfectly flush on both sides. The problem we were having is this was sitting really flush. So you see how it's like the slotted? The exhaust cam was sitting yeah. flush. The exhaust cam was sitting flush. And then the intake cam, it was sitting a little crooked. So you can um, put a 24 or a Crescent and then push it over until this sits flat and then lock it in. It has a small room for adjustment. So now we're going to go ahead and remove our Torx bits here. Yeah. And so we're going to actually stuff down there. So oh, yeah. There's actually an oil drain right there, and you do not want to lose a bolt in there. Yeah, so knowing like the luck that we have in this house and like all the broken cars, we're probably gonna lose something in there. I'm stuffing that muffin, partner. <laughs> <laughs> Very careful, we remove the Torx bits. All right, so the Torx bits are out, and now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at what I did wrong. Kay. So the last time when we replaced the Vano seals and the bearings, we did all that good. But when we align the Vanos unit back in, as you can see here, as we pull this Johnny off of our sprocket. So you see these are slotted. Uh, this is going to change the timing of our Vanos. Wow. So you have to slide it all the way one way and then put the Vanos spline in, which you'll get to visualize in a second as we do it. But just as a quick explanation, we did it wrong the first time. So. So we are removing the banjo bolt. This is the oil supply to your Vanos unit. Um, and this is your Vanos solenoid. So oil yeah, comes man. through here, it senses that, and then turns your Vanos on and off. Yeah, man. Depending on oil pressure. Yeah. Cool. And yeah, you just want to bag that, bag it and tag it. <laughs> so okay, so now in order to take off the Vanos, you're gonna have to undo all these Johnny. They're all 10s, except this top one's an 11, and the one right under it is a 13. Why? You hit up BMW ask, and- ask the German. So now you're gonna get your special tool. This is gonna lock into one of the, the, teeth. Uh, the teeth on the sprocket. And then this is just gonna sit on that inner ring of the gear, or sprocket. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in there. And while I play with this, George is going to go in the wrong way. Oh yeah, dude, that's where all the oil comes from. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so in the previous video that we did that we've never posted, but uh, we totally did, um, we had to redo the bearing inside this Vanos because he had a lot of play in the shaft. And the seal on the piston that sits in here. Was that uh, two rings? Yeah. Um, I don't have, we didn't do a very good job of recording because it was extremely hot and we were, you know, hot and flustered. So. Yeah. But yeah, this had a lot of shaft play redoing the bearing and we redid the seal and now it's like, super sturdy and there's no play in this unit itself right here so to give you guys a better idea of what we're doing when we're timing the vanos let's clear some air up man you gotta loosen all of these and just have them finger tight see they can move around and same with these ones right here and so because the inside of this they're slotted as well just just like that johnny yeah. in there what you want is this johnny to be all loose look at that yeah we should be able to move the uh vanos yeah. timing to get this timing done you have to have the chain all the way over to the driver's side. Driver's side. Driver's side. So, yeah, we're pushed all the way over to the driver's side. And when you slip the Vanos on, there's two sets of teeth. Now, this inner set of teeth here, it's sticking out more towards the outside. And that's that's the gear you want to grab with pointing at the Vanos. The Vanos is going to just grab onto this little center gear without touching the outer gear. And with just it touching the center gear, you're gonna have this over all the way to the drivers, then shove it in. So the important part here is you need it to catch immediately. So as it's pushed all the way to the driver's side, the Vanos teeth need to catch. And as I rotate this, it's gonna pull it in. And if it doesn't catch right away, you have to redo it. And that's be, where we messed up yeah. last time. We're gonna, I'm gonna be adding force on the push in. Boom. And that was perfect. Was first, it? first try. Really? And then go ahead and... Can you go more on this, turning boys? So are you sure? Are you content with Are that? you sure about that? <laughs> I'm gonna put him in here. Yeah. Are you sure about that? Just pop his head out? Yeah. <laughs> um, are, are you sure about that? that? All right, so our Vanos is installed and we've gone ahead and done 
a couple ooga doogas for all these. No, we did it to correct foot pounds, don't worry. Banjo back there. Plug your sensor back in. No, don't don't do anything to that. Stop. <laughs> yeah, just everything in the front. Tighten them all up. Um, make sure you give it a whopping two ooga doogas. And so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're going to remove our cam lock blocks in the back. And, those. and then we will undo the flywheel lock. Little pin thingy. And then we're gonna go ahead and get the valve cover ready to go back on. And then our fan and our cooling system. And we'll see if this works. Darshi blows. That's a wrap, y'all. Yep. A little bit of Vanos goodness, a little bit of uh, Mishimoto radiation goodness. I burned myself. <laughs> That's classic dip out of fashion. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm not going to record driving right now because obviously it's pitch black outside. I mean, I probably could do it. But... Oh, no, dude, they can see that. <laughs> oh, for sure. For sure. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Remember, tell your friends. It's all about man. telling your friends, man. I hey, man, no, like, for real, like, share the videos. Like, what are you guys doing? Stop lagging. We appreciate the love recently on the comments and everything and the recent new subs. Welcome to Defato. We love you guys. Yeah, this is more of a formal video, but you know, we'll get the memes going. Catch you next time.